If your PlayStation 5 doesn't recognize your DualSense controller and it won't connect or show up in the Bluetooth device list, then I'll show you the most effective ways to get your DualSense controller paired back with your PS5. If you're having issues with your controller suddenly, or if it doesn't pair even when the cable is connected, like you see here, then you can fix it easily by this process I'm gonna show you. First, turn off your PS5 console by holding down the power button until you hear the second beep. After it's turned off completely, connect your DualSense controller using the USB cable, and then turn on your console. You should see the orange LED on your controller. And now if you press the PS button, it should get connected without any trouble. If your console still doesn't recognize your controller and your controller doesn't pair or stuck in pairing mode, then check if you have connected your controller with other devices. In our case, we have our controller connected to our iPhone and it is interfering with the pairing process. So what you can do is simply turn off Bluetooth or forget the controller from your device by going to the Bluetooth settings. Then try reconnecting your controller to your PS5 and you shouldn't have any trouble. But if this wasn't the issue and you still can't get your controller to connect, then you can try resetting your controller. You just need a paperclip, a SIM ejector tool or something similar. Then you need to make sure that your console is turned off. Now flip your controller and there should be a hole beside the Sony logo. Now we'll insert the SIM ejector tool into the hole and you should feel a button being pressed. Keep pressing on it for at least 5 seconds and that should reset your controller. If your controller is connected to your console, then you can just press the PS button and your console should turn on. And if you couldn't pair it before, then pair it using a cable and it should pair without any issues. And it's recommended that you keep your controller's firmware updated so that you don't run into the same issue in the future. Hope this video helped, do leave your feedback down below and I'll see you soon.